craziest thing that you are allergic to? I'll go first. All right, so I had a baby last year, um, November of last year. I had a, I had a baby, a little boy, um, my son. And so after having my son, um, I went the breastfeeding route of, you know, like nursing and stuff, because you always say they say nursing is the best thing for a baby, um, gives them a lot of nutrients, vitamins, all that good stuff, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go that route um, when I had my child. So one night, I was, um, you know, my baby, my baby was maybe like two weeks old, and I've never been a person that's being allergic to anything or anything like that but you all know ways know they say pregnancy changes things for you especially women um so your body can change and react different based off of pregnancy so i'm like okay cool so i'm sitting on my chair um, i had a c-section with my son so i'm like sitting up a little bit because you know c-section scar all that stuff is stretching all that stuff so it hurts so i'm like okay well let me you know sit up whatever i'm getting ready to nurse my child and then i notice like i have a little bump on me so i'm thinking oh my gosh it must be my husband like he didn't left my garage open because my garage is not too far from my living room so i'm like he must have left the garage door open because he go in and out of the garage sometimes a lot and i'm just like oh he left the garage door open and he didn't let mosquitoes in the house that's what i'm thinking all right so a little bit fast for you know a little bit more later on i get up to go take a shower i have bumps all over my arms all over my chest all over my stomach all over my back all over my legs like they're everywhere right so i'm breaking out in hives i'm like oh my goodness what is going on right um and so i took some benadryl you know just to be able to counter reaction but i had at that point in time no what didn't know what what it was what was going on so after that um i ended up waking up with a headache the next morning and with making up with a headache i thought i was having a stroke y'all went to the hospital so of course my doctor was like i want to come with you to come in because i want to see you because i was only two weeks postpartum so i went into my doctor to be seen and during this time my mom is a women's self nurse practitioner um she's at her actually has her dmp she's a doctor and a nurse practitioner now and so my mom immediately starts looking online to see you know what it can be like looking up case studies all these different things and so we get to my doctor's office and um i'm talking to her about how i'm breaking out in hives and all this different stuff and so she's going over scenarios as far as what may be going on um and whatnot so anywho my mom pulls up a case study and the case study is talking about a lady who experienced a uh, wild breastfeeding, like breaking out in hives and stuff. And so my doctor at that point in time, I never heard of it. She went to her colleague and her colleague was like, just stop breastfeeding. And she was like, no, because we all know that it's the most healthiest thing for the baby. And so she goes to a group that she has on Facebook with over 70,000 OBGYNs in it. And she shares it with them. And they're like, okay, you guys breastfeeding um anaphylaxis is a thing so lactation anaphylaxis i'm allergic to breastfeeding even today i still nurse my son i have to take allergy medicine every single day to nurse my son i even have an EpiPen, y'all because i am allergic to breastfeeding and if i don't take my allergy medicine um then i will break out in hives while nursing while i'm producing milk it's my body's reaction to producing the milk um so crazy thing there's only ever been five reports well, six now in my case five reported cases ever of this happening but i'm allergic to breastfeeding Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin. I'm a board certified allergist and I really appreciate her sharing her story because lactation anaphylaxis has been reported in the medical literature. There's a few more than five cases at this point, but it's unclear how common this is, but it is very rare and not really well understood. I have not actually seen a case of this, but I've read through the medical literature and it appears to probably have to do with significant changes in estrogen and progesterone levels immediately postpartum that is leading to something called a non-IgE mediated allergy. So IgE is a typical allergy antibody that we think of when we think of seasonal allergies or traditional food allergies. There is some type of change in hormones that's leading to abnormal activation of mast cells that leads to a release of various chemicals that could be a potentially life-threatening allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis. So in some of these cases, they had to discontinue breastfeeding altogether. In other cases, they were able to successfully pre-treat with using antihistamines, but in some cases they may need to use epinephrine. And so this is a story that I have not seen personally, but I appreciate that she is sharing this. And this is an example of how the human body can do all sorts of different things and how the immune system responds to the environment can be quite variable.